three things or takeaways you want uh, men or women um, to take from your book, Art of Seduction? Okay. I want guys to take that idea. You know that that thing saying girls like guys who treat them like trash. Actually, no. Girls really like nice guys. And girls like men who make love to them in a way that gives them pleasure. So Kabir so, Singh is not... Kabir <laughs> Singh and now animal. Man. Animal. Ah. Anyway, yeah. Kabir Singh is not the way forward. Um, but yes, I would like guys to know that at the end of the day, their sexual intimacy, their sex life, their pleasure life is going to depend on how their partner reacts to them, not on what they think that some faceless group of men have laid down some laws. So get intelligent, be with your partner, listen to what she wants, and learn to be a gentle romantic lover because that's how it has to start. Eventually, I mean, when the passion is up, yeah, you get really excited and you go into different um, tempos, but learn that. It's really important. Forget what you have been told in the boys' locker room. <laughs> okay, that's really very, very important for me. Um, I want girls to, I want women to know, and men, that a woman exploring her own pleasure mm. is good for both people. Mm. Somebody wrote to me recently and said, but if a woman has never felt the touch of a man or never masturbated, then she'll be so much more sensitive to the touch of a man. Actually, that doesn't work like that. Um, when you've never experienced any of this and when your emotions are aroused, it can be very agitating. It can be very difficult to control. I mean, especially, especially the first time the clitoris is touched. It is really, really, it can be very agitating. It doesn't automatically lead to pleasure. You have to understand how much of it you need to get to that point of pleasure. So instead of saying women shouldn't learn about this, encourage the woman to learn about her pleasure because that means it's going to be more pleasurable for both partners. It's really important. And before I give you my third one, tell me what is your thought I mean, if you had a point that you would like people to learn to make this world a better place, what is it that you would? The fact uh, around how you explain that it is not just about the orgasm, but the entire, what happens before, what happens after, the conversations, the entire experience. I think that, that, that was also a very interesting take on um, the whole thing. Definitely. I think for me, it's just this idea of developing this thing on flirting. Again, it's looked down upon. Or it's a flirty, it's a slutty, you know, and so on. Um, and with the guys, it's like, ha, huh, so he doesn't know how to flirt uh, because he's a guy. You know, guys don't talk so much. Guys, women, don't. Okay, let me give you a slightly better example. I get trolled constantly by people saying, Dadi ko bada experience hai. Chachi ko baut pata hai. <laughs> ha hai. Experience hai. I, if I'd got to 60 without having experience, what a sad life that would be. And I want people to know that experience is not just that you've gone and had sex with a million people. That's not experience. Experience takes in so many other things, your conversation, your um, travels, the people that you talk to, what you learn from them. You read about how Casanova used to feed oysters to his women and very strategically drop it down their dress and then say, I will retrieve it. So it's not because he had two dozen oysters, it was an aphrodisiac, it was how he used his oysters, you know. There is I, I want people to know that intimacy is an art form that has to be studied and learned. Don't let somebody put you down and say, but I experience it. Eh? It's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs>